Jane's class was learning about inherited traits. My animal was the hippo, which is an amazing animal in my opinion. And for its heredity, it skull like it has long canines for like when it challenges the like the dominant male. It'll like they would bite each other, and sometimes they even do it to the death. And then. Adaptations? Um, and now I will be talking about their adaptations. For their adaptations, the, hippo, the hippos close their, um, their ears and their, their ears and their eyes so they don't get filled with water. And they, when they go underwater, when they go underwater, they open their mouths and a bunch of fish go into their mouth and they clean their teeth. And they clean their teeth. They clean their teeth. <coughs> and now I will be talking about their environment. A hippo's environment, they live in southern Africa where it's swampy and swampy and wet. So like, cause they, they spend most of the day in the water and then like at night, they'll go out to like eat grass because be, so their ski, uh, skin won't get burned. They'll go eat grass at night, and then their predators are crafty crocodiles, the sun, bull sharks, and humans. <coughs> the sun. And then uh, hippo's instincts are when. Like any type of creature near their young, the, it'll charge at it if it's on land, but then if it's in the water, if the calf, <coughs> if the, if the calf goes t too far away from its mother, like a, a predator would go and get it, but then a hippo would go underwater to where the calf is and then it would headbutt it. So it would stay away, and then for learned, a hippo can be taught to hold its breath more than five minutes because in the wild, it can hold its breath for five minutes. And thank you.